Hello everyone! We are back with yet another interesting topic from the world of ever-inspiring tech genius Elon Musk and his mind-blogging and jaw-dropping adventures and misadventures. So, let's get started. Humans of the 21st century have increased the pace of technological advancements by many folds. The evolution has brought us artificial intelligence, electric cars, blistering fast internet connections, and self-operating transport systems. But these advancements have not come without a cost. We are tapping Earth's finite resources, modifying the natural landscapes, and consuming fuel reserves much faster. In our quest to improve technology, we have not even left space that was the least altered part of the universe. Right now, space is used for three purposes, scientific, commercial, and military. For either of three missions, humans have to launch some sort of machine into the Earth's orbit. It can be a rocket to probe space or satellites to enhance our communication system. Most of these machines are not designed to come back to Earth. These rockets, spaceships, and satellites remain in space until they collide with a meteorite or with another human-made space object. Space debris is made up of these objects that we have sent for one purpose or another. So how did we end up here? What does it mean for space? And what does SpaceX have to do with it? Stay with us as we dissect this issue. How did we end up here? Let's go back in history. Sputnik 1 was the first satellite that was launched into space back in October of 1957 by the Soviet space program. It essentially laid the foundation for what is now known as space debris. However, there are some scientists that believe otherwise. Space debris is not just made of ejecta that is launched directly into space. Sometimes, certain activities like nuclear explosions can also contribute to it. Hence, some scientists rightly believe that it was indeed the U.S. that sent the first batch of debris into space with the Pascal B test. Whether it was the U.S. or the Soviet Union that threw the first stone remains debatable, but it is an established fact that ever since 1957, space has never looked the same. North American Aerospace Defense Command, also known as NORAD, started a database compilation after the launch of Sputnik 1. It has records of all rockets, spaceships, and satellites that have been launched in space since 1957. NASA published a modified version of these records in the early 1980s, which were brought to the surface again by the Celestrac Bulletin Board System. In the aftermath of the published reports, the scientific community was concerned about the potential modification of space, which led to efforts to reduce space debris. Governments and private companies pushed for more space-friendly solutions, which involved some design changes to the vehicles of space objects. The changes in design and new regulations curbed the problem to some extent for some time, but it does not seem an appropriate solution anymore. As of 2022, the U.S. alone has the ownership of more than 2,944 satellites that are operational. It is followed by China with 499 and Russia with 169 apiece. All the other countries account for 1,240 of the total 4852. All of these satellites will turn into debris one by one once their mission ends and would pile up with the thousands of other non-functional satellites that are orbiting the Earth. Furthermore, there are already about 34,000 pieces of space junk that are bigger than 10 centimeters in addition to millions of smaller debris that can prove disastrous if they collide with a functional satellite. The role of SpaceX Why is Elon Musk at the center of space debris debate? Elon Musk founded SpaceX to reduce space transportation costs and colonize Mars. The work on the latter is under scrutiny, but the company has had success on the other front. SpaceX has earned some of the most expensive bids for NASA and the International Space Station. Most of the missions that SpaceX has launched were in collaboration with NASA, ISS, or the U.S. government. Hence, there were certain monetary restrictions, and most of the time objectives were not commercial. So, the risk of increasing space junk was not as high. But things have changed since Elon announced Starlink, which used to be a subsidiary of SpaceX. Starlink is working on satellite internet and has a mission to make the internet accessible to all even in remote areas. It seems a significant step on the surface, but it is not a good news for space and our night skies. Star Starlink is trying to make the internet accessible by launching thousands of small satellites into space. Thousands of units are already established and many more are in development. Furthermore, most of these satellites orbit in the low Earth orbit, which is just 300 kilometers away from Earth. This in itself is another set of problems. 
Some other companies like Telesat and Kuiper have also started working on their own satellite constellation to enter the Starlink business. It means thousands of more satellites are on the cards, and Kuiper is owned by Amazon, which means it has just as many resources as SpaceX, if not more. All of this means that commercialization of low Earth orbit has started, which has profound implications. Implications of space junk. The chance of space junk falling on the Earth is rare, but it is not impossible. A number of pieces fall from space on a regular basis. No causality or damage has been reported as of now, but several close encounters have happened. Most recently, a huge Chinese rocket broke apart, and some of its debris landed just 100 meters away from a village. Although the rocket never went into space, it shows that growth in the number of launches also poses another significant and potentially fatal risk. In another incident, debris of a spacecraft launched by SpaceX hit a remote part of Australia. It was named Trunk and belonged to Crew-1 of SpaceX. A part of the spacecraft broke into multiple pieces, which collectively weighed around 3 to 4 metric tons. So there goes the myth that satellites cannot directly harm the humans on Earth because friction causes them to burn into ashes. As more and more satellites are being launched into space, the risk of such an event is increasing. It is only a matter of time before a huge chunk of spacecraft hits Earth and causes damage to lives and properties. The risk of such events is increasing, but it does not pose an immediate threat as of now. But the space exploratory missions have started to experience it. The European Space Agency had to perform its first space maneuver when it was on the path to collide with one of Starlink's satellites. Thanks to the timely warning from the U.S. military, the collision was was avoided. Incidents of satellites colliding with each other has also increased which could lead to damage to equipment worth millions of dollars. A Chinese satellite was broken after it collided with another satellite in 2021. Whether either of these satellites was operational is not known. SpaceX is at the center of this issue because it has increased the risks of these events by many folds. The company has not just launched thousands of satellites, it has launched them to the nearest Earth orbit. And this particular orbit has the least capacity to sustain such a high number of human-made space objects for a long time. As per a Chinese scientist, debris of one of SpaceX satellites even hit the moon. But for now, it should be the least of the priority. Adventurers of Elon Musk and his billionaire friends can cause problems to space exploration programs programs and that worries scientist communities the most. Professor Hugh Lewis of the University of Southampton said, Scientific value of tracking deep space junk is limited, but it is important to keep an eye on what's there especially as a human settlement in space becomes more likely. It is the mess we have created. Objects we think are safe can actually return to Earth unexpectedly, he added. Is there anything that SpaceX or government is doing to address the problem? Unfortunately, governments, SpaceX, or any of the other companies that are involved in space are not currently doing anything concrete to address the problems. Some scientists have repeatedly expressed their concerns, but it seems it is the least of the priorities for both the government and the companies that are commercializing space. Space is not just a trash can, folks. It is really something we have to take care of, said James Head, professor of geological sciences at Brown University. SpaceX has hinted that their next-generation Starship system might help the problem. It is a spacecraft that Elon Musk's company is designed to take people to the moon and Mars. It is quite possible that we could leverage starships to go on some of these dead rocket bodies. Other people's rockets, of course. Basically, go pick up some of this junk in outer space. Gwyn Shotwell, chief operating officer at SpaceX said in an online talk. But again, these are all speculation. We cannot really know if SpaceX is actually working on such a starship, and even if it is working on it, we cannot say with certainty whether it can clean up the space or will ultimately contribute to space debris itself. What does it mean for the world? Well, as of now, common people only stand to gain from it. We will have cheaper and faster internet given the competition between big corporations and the technology that we use on a regular basis will also improve significantly significantly. But the question is for how long can we keep on modifying nature for our own good? We do not even know if space is as friendly as Earth when it comes to modification by human beings. Let's just wait and see where the quest to evolve technology takes us, and we can only hope that it provides humankind all the advancement in technology without any harm to the universe. We hope this video was informative and you enjoyed it. Thank you for tuning in. Keep connected to learn more about the latest news and the controversies in the tech world. We will see you at the next one.